Welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts. That annoying noise means this is a portal, and it's a portal to La Lucha. Which is going to be very important to us for the uh, next couple of episodes. Because that is how we are going to get ourselves the Queens. Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Iowa. Tiger! Okay, we have to fight this dude. He's not a happy camper. He also has no neck. I'm not sure why he has no neck, but he has no neck. Yeah, Wake you do that. Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty-night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snake size. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? That's why I'm here. Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry. I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. Can we just get on with this? All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only God, so this I guy never shuts up. Why are his pupils not in the middle of the eyes like they should be? Attempts to make me shut up. This is kind of weird. And why? I would assume that this is supposed to be like we're supposed to be in Spain or Mexico to some extent. So why does this guy seem to have a Russian accent? Easy way to take care of this guy? Just use that wrecking ball of yours. Hi. How you doing? Oh, he knocked me off. That sucks. You only have a limited amount of HP for this. So remember, you have to uh, beat him without losing a... Uh, without losing that. And, of course, he, uh, you know, immune to that. Do -do -do -do. No. Hi. Ah, great. Here we go. I'm just gonna jump way the hell up. Dodge that. Hi. Hi. Come on, come on, come on. Try. Jump. Whee! No. Gotta love doing that. It's like being a matador, only not. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have gotten grabbed by that. That kinda hurt. Uh, so let's see. Kill, tiger, kill. Kill, tiger, kill. Kill, tiger, kill. What's the other one say? Uh, kill, tiger, kill. And something about blood. We want blood. Okay, well. I don't know about blood. No, 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 you're not allowed to touch me. I'll just from over here. No. He's almost done. Ah, uh, great. I'll just get way up in the air here. Oh, that hurt. Avoiding the tiger pounce requires some serious tumbling skill. Tumbling? Well, it's a good thing I was trained in the circus. No. Thank you for dancing, Raz. It's what we really need to see right now. Sleep tight, kitty. So we win. Good game, good good match. Yeah, that that was fun. And now we have netted ourselves yet another card. Wonderful. Now every time you net a card, it's going to send you right back to the beginning here, which is good because we have some uh, figments we got to grab over here. So let's go ahead and grab those while I'm thinking about them so I don't miss them. And we do have some other places we can go. Once we uh, open that first panel, it unlocks some shortcuts to other places inside the city. Which is really useful. Okay, oh, gotta get this one. Nope, oh, come here. No! Okay. It didn't launch us in, that's good. I wasn't ready to leave anyways. Skateboard, whatever that is. Do I have that first tag? No, I don't. Get these out of the way. Is there any hanging ones that I missed so far? No? Okay, are these... Th is this blood or is this wine? I can't quite tell. Grab that, grab that. Should be at rank... Uh, yep, there's rank 78. Good, grab that there. Okay, let's... No! Would you stop hitting me, you freaking obnoxious thing? Is that a... Uh, nope, that's just that. Okay. Just trying to make sure I don't have any more, um... Yeah, okay. We don't have any more figments in this area. You know, I'm just gonna sort of ignore giving Edgar this card. I'm just gonna jump back through this portal. Back to the clubs. We're gonna go clubbing. So now, uh, he owns that. So we're gonna start moving through again. Okay. 
So now that we have completed that, now we can begin to move on and move to other areas of the uh, of the town. What I'm looking for is that crying piece of luggage we have over in this general direction. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, great, the sensors want to say hi. I don't really want to uh, acknowledge them at all, so I'm just going to jump up here. I get... oh, come on. Fine, go away. I like I like my uh, side blast upgrade, don't you? Okay, let's see about getting up there. Can I do that from here? No, I can't. Okay, just want to check. Okay, so can't get there from the can't get there from here. We'll have to do that another time. If you are significantly high up, you can jump over El Odio. But if you're uh, too clo too low, he just hits you anyways. Now, important to notice about this: every time El Odio passes, these uh bars here will snap back. So you got to make sure to time this right. You don't want to get caught by him and just be sent all the way back to the beginning. That's embarrassing. Come on, pass. Thank you. And now we can go into this corner. Got ourselves some more sensors. And now we can make our way back into this particular alley. Even more sensors, and now we have uh, some more uh, paintings for sale. Which means there must be another dog artist right here. Hi, would you like to talk to me? I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Walgamart will put them out of business. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Apparently he's just unhappy. Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad I'm saving money now. Uh, let's see. Can you fight bulls? Can you fight bulls? Because I don't want to fight bulls. I have bulls. a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio... How could you uh, tell? There is, of course, only one man who could handle that much bull. Oh, really? Who can? Who, who can, can fight an El Odio? It? Who can fight El Odio? Talk to me. I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the uh -huh. infamous matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why not? Talk to me. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? Really? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. Can you talk to me about it? What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? I like hearing about Tragedy, gossip. Betrayal. Details. Art, love. Pain. Details. Nothing you want to know about. I want to know a lot about it. Details. On, tell me. I'm a tabloid reporter. What's Help the me out scandal? here. Scandal. Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But come maybe on. Maybe if you had bought some art, oh, then fine. I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change, and you know. Okay. I will buy some art here. I will buy this. <laughs> Pearls before swine. <laughs> I was playing with spatial relationships here. Okay. Bought some art. Okay. Give me dirt. I bought some art. And give me the dirt on Dingo. While this thing <laughs> cries. Come on, talk. Okay. Here's how I heard it. Oh god, it's secondhand information. Edgar was a world renowned painter. He was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. I can deal with that. He was sitting for the portrait. Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife. Oh, I know where this is going. Other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampita Passionado. He Wonderful. seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. That since would send any guy into spiraling nothing, mental issues. Pair, and since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Great story. You should do a painting Whoa. about it. That's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, okay, so... Sounds like a dick. I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's yes, like as a collie. It's like to wear a golden mm -hmm. robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. That's exactly what it's like. It must be tough. I've had yeah. collies before. They I weren't that bad. through my painting. Why are you making a painting of me? Gotta go. Okay, give me, give me one of these. Mm. Oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Dude, you do not insult your customers. 
We are your lifeblood. We are how you continue doing your things. Okay, so we want to be able to get up there, but uh, I don't think... Okay, am I, am I going to be able to pull this off? Come on, let me pull this off. Come on, come on, come on. No! Okay, we want to be able to get up there, but I'm not supposed to be able to get up, get up, there, uh, up there until later. And I don't think I'm going to be able to cheese this. Nope. Okay. So we're going to have to go this way, and we're going to have to deal with El Odio again. But this time, there's a card to be had. Looks like we got to fight again. But I'm okay with fighting. Let's go check this one out. It's another Lucha Libre. And this time, I think it's a dragon. It's the Queen of Hearts. Introducing... Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings. Oh, wonderful. Dragon! Sup? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Posture, blah, blah, blah. We'll have a little bit of talk back and forth. And then I punch you a few times. You have no neck. Ow. What's that smell? Yeah. That smells like fear, boy. Oh, guys, a redneck. Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! Oh, so you fear me. Good, good. No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. Quite That's a wonderful sober. imagery. <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Good, okay. Well, we're just gonna do our normal thing. I'm just gonna hit and run. Hit, run. Some... Oh, and thank you for showing me your backside. Man, he turns fast for a big guy. Hi. This strategy seems to work pretty well. Uh-oh. He's about to do something. An AoE attack. Okay. Oh, okay. That's how that works. He's gonna cause a... Uh... Nope. He's gonna make an earthquake, so we probably should jump for that. Hi. There he goes. One, two, three. Jump! Hang up in the air. And you do that. Well, that worked pretty well. No, you're not gonna grab me. That's not how this fight's gonna go. Apparently, I'm not going to hit you, either. Smack. Okay, here it comes. One, two, three, jump. Hang in the air. No such problem. And go and, uh, smack. Seems like a pretty easy fight so far. Not having too much trouble. We'll have more trouble with future fights. No, he grabbed me! Ow, my face! Ow, my neck! Ow, my spine! Okay, don't do that again. I did not appreciate that. Spank. Uh-oh. We should not be on the ground for this. And I think one more should do it. Okay, one more. There we go. And we dance again because we are amazing. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. Oh my god, wasn't this a G-rated game? Hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? Great one. Yeah, he didn't hear you. And once again, we are shrinking, or at least the card is. Another card taken care of. There's only two more. I believe that's going to kick us right back to the center, but I really don't have any intention of talking to Edgar right now because I cannot help him. This cutscene would change minorly if I was actually giving the cards to him. His tower would start growing. Me. But uh, we're just going to move back in. Okay, we have returned to the location of the Queen of Hearts. Uh, there is a nail here, and now we can use the guitar painting. Uh, you might have seen the uh, clairvoyance icon on this. What that means is that uh, if you use clairvoyance, it'll show you what the um, what the painting will do if you happen to use it. Okay, let's go ahead and use our cobweb duster and get rid of that. Uh, there is that one um, figment that was flying around here. That, right there. Okay, now that we have that... I have yapped on a couple of times about polish in video games and, uh, you know, how awesome it is to uh, have the designers just kind of focus and make good things happen. And having the um, guitar ladder make the sound of a guitar being... S uh, this is not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good! Uh. Wonderful. Having the uh, guitar ladder make the sound of a guitar string being plucked as you climb it is polish. It's wonderful. Okay, let's get going. Go, 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 go. Crap, 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 crap. That did not work very well. You know what? I'm just going to take the easy way. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. 
This is why I didn't want to take the easy way, because you have to watch this each time. Got a two, got a six, got a two, got an eight. I got a really bad, ha bad hand. Okay, uh, this is, this hearts, no. Thank you, that was wonderful. I need hearts, I need this one. Okay. Now we can actually take the, uh, we can take our guitar painting back when we're done with it being here. Which I'm gonna do pretty soon, I just wanted to make sure to go over here and pick up all these, and then make sure that when you're up here, hit the button to lower the fire escape. Uh, doing so will allow you to get back up here when you need it. Look, Elodia, would you stop doing that? You're being kind of obnoxious about this. Oh, come on! Okay, I'm gonna be over here. No! And through the... Okay. I like this level. I love the ambiance. I love things about this level, but El Odio, not something I like. You're not meant to like him, so it's good that you don't like him, but... Okay, let's go ahead and take this painting down, because we're going to need this later. Okay. Oh, come on, I was up that ladder. Okay, good. Now we're up here. And now we can slowly start making our way in this direction grab a bunch of extra figments. Good. And now we can continue working over in this way. Okay, uh, let's jump down here real quick. Anything over here I should know about? Well, there is that. There are some figments. Don't want to miss those. Okay, I want that figment that's hanging around down here. Okay, I'm just going to stay here for a second. Oh, no, I can't stay there. Okay. Well, then I'm going to go up here, because that sounds like a better idea. Coming down there. Don't know where that figment that went, though. Okay, let's jump down here. I'll find it eventually, I'm sure. I want to be going this way. Let's wait till he passes again, then we're going to jump down. Ready, go. Let's get over here. Awesome. Now let's go back, grab this one. And that's a manhole. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, you know what? I'll explore down here, I guess. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about Edgar's history down here. The problem is that this manhole goes in multiple different directions. And uh, I want to grab everything. Is this the end of it? Okay, this is the end of it. Okay, let's explore. I really don't want to be stepping on whatever, whatever's down there. Oh, great. We got enemies. Wonderful. I would like to lock on. Can I lock on, please? No, not that way. Decidedly not that way. Lock on. Apparently, I'm not going to be locking on anytime soon. Or, oh, I can only lock on. Right, okay. Did I just see a figment? I thought I just saw a figment. No, okay. Let's pull out our cobweb duster. Let's... Uh, I don't want to go down there yet. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, if you had never, if you hadn't picked up the cobweb duster a lot earlier in the game, you will find out that it's it's um pretty necessary to find everything once you get towards the later half of the game. Start blocking off areas with cobwebs, things like that. I'm starting to feel like I'm back in high school, which is weird because I'm only ten. There you go. And now we know exactly how old he is. Hey, look, I see something. I'm not going to get a chance to use because these guys are going to stop me. Okay. No. No. Also, no. Nope. No. Come on, your sensors, you know what the word no means. Okay, um, we're gonna go this way first. Just see if there's anything over here. There is, there is a single figment just kind of sitting in this direction. And somewhere nearby, there's a teleporter. I just saw a... Okay, let's grab this real quick. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay. Grab this figment, grab that figment. Rank 79, smack that. What do we find in this memory vault? We find Edgar's Lament, and this is what we're going to be looking at when I come back with the next episode. I will see you guys soon.